Latest follower, Kraken Baby69. Latest sub, G Man Snaps. Dono Goal 2K for a Hawaiian vacation stream. Okay, maybe that last one was a little absurd. I'm Kale40. Look, there are hundreds of things that you can call out on your overlay. Uh, endless possibilities. And you know what? I've seen a lot of people try to just slam them all into one. But I am a firm believer that purposeful decisions, strategic decisions, impact your stream by targeting what you want to improve on and then taking action. Let's get foxy. Purposeful strategic decisions imply that you are able to be purposeful or strategic. Uh, if you don't have the time to invest in strategy, you can disregard this whole video. Uh, literally just click on. If you do have the time and drive to do it, I guarantee this is going to help you. So strategy starts with goals. Uh, shocker. So uh, goals need to be specific and measurable and come with a timeline that is achievable. So, that could be I want uh, 10 subs by the end of the month. That could be I want 5 new followers by the end of this stream. Uh, I have specific timelines, I have specific measurable goals that I can know that I have achieved by the end. Um, but how are you going to do those? You need to set a tactic to achieve those. And I wouldn't always just set just one tactic. I would set a few different tactics to be able to achieve that goal. So that way you know it is your focus, you know that you are working towards it. All right, so now that we understand strategy, we understand tactics, uh, uh, how to go about those, make that plan, let's talk about the overlay side of things because today we're going over how to achieve all this with your overlay specifically. Uh, the added elements in an overlay beyond your camera and your game tend to usually include uh, you know, all or just one of the following, kind of like the examples at the beginning. We have our alerts, our latest follower subs, whatever's, our top subs, top Gifteds, whatever the heck they are, uh, top goals, uh, donor goals, sub goals, whatever they are, social links, mini ads. Those are like the, the, the common items that you really have to play with um, on screen in your overlay. If you thought of some that I haven't thought of, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Uh, but now that we have talked about the strategy, we've talked about what items we have to play with in our overlay. Uh, let's talk about combining the two. Now, how do we use a strategy and in, in the pieces of our overlay to achieve the goal that we have all right so let's say for an example um you feel really good about your stream um size and and engagement but you recently launched a i don't know a youtube channel huh shocker and uh you know beyond just promoting that through your stream you would like to uh you'd like to make that your focus you want to harp on it so uh beyond that let's say we add it to your your overlay Add it in a text form, in a badge, in a fancy little doohickey you can download from some cool website. Look, I'm not here to make that kind of video right now. Uh, this can just be text on a screen if you want it to be. All right, whatever best calls it out. Let's say that that goal is your sole focus right now. And let's also say that you just added that link to your overlay. A couple weeks go by, you're not really seeing the growth that you're hoping for. You're not even seeing some of your regulars popping in on your YouTube channel. What's going on? You're wondering... Wondering why it's not really working, why it's not leading to that growth that you were hoping for. Hmm. Well, you look at your overlay and you see, huh, I remember that guy complaining on YouTube about shoving too many things in my overlay. Huh. I got my latest follower. I got my, my latest sub. I got my, my top dono. I got all these things listed that everyone else lists on the channels. So why, why, why is it not working? Why am I not funneling people in? That's the one reason uh, you're crowding your overlay with other goals. Uh, calling out anything from even just your latest follow means that... So you got your social link here, you got your latest follow here. Well, probably down here on your screen, right? Uh, what you are effectively saying is these matter the same to me. These are equally concerning to me. Um, I want to achieve both of those at the same time. You're, I'm a greedy bastard, all right? Same thing goes for any whatever other goals you have out there. When you're shoving multiple goals on there, you're not focused. You're saying anything you do is great and lovely, um, but I have no specific goals as a person. And that might sound dramatic, but let's use an example. Let's say uh, you see a toothpaste, toothpaste ad <laughs> that says buy toothpaste, um, but it also right next to it says donate to our toothpaste brand. Uh, it also says try our other toothpaste, and it also says take pictures with all of the toothpastes and send them to us. What is the focus of that ad? Well, there isn't any. Uh, while it feels good, 
to highlight every action someone could possibly take on your stream. The functional use of highlighting actions is to make the statement that blink, whatever action it is, is important to you and your channel. Make sense? Uh, so is your goal to make money? Try being transparent about it. Honestly, like streaming as a small streamer, it's a lot of time that you put into it. And most of the time you're not making money. And if you need to pay rent, if you need to pay a certain bill you're struggling with every month, make a dono goal for that bill. Uh, you don't have to make a goal for your Elgato when you're struggling to put groceries on the table. Like, add that dono goal, make it your focus. Viewers respect transparency, and they're there because they identify with you most of the time. Um, are you trying to hit a follower goal? Let's say you're, you're younger and you just want to be able to flex your follower numbers to your friends at school. Totally fine. Uh, put your follower goal up there. Make it weekly, though. Make a goal per week. That's how you have steady growth. If you say, I want to hit 1,000 followers and you're at 100, well, you're setting yourself up for a rocky, rocky road. Um, not to say it's impossible. I would never say no, but I would just say uh, do it in increments. That way you know, hey, by the end of the school year, I might hit 1,000. Never know, all right? So, uh, and you could also include latest followers with that. Those two coincide a little bit more. They can play together better. Um, and it also serves as a, hey, if you missed the alert because you're playing a game and you don't have an activity monitor up, well, you have it on, like, your preview of your monitor or whatever, so you can at least call that person out. Make them feel special. That's kind of the other point step to this is uh, build the experience around your goal, whatever that goal happens to be. Uh, I do want to touch base on alerts. Alerts kind of sit as an exception to this, uh, and that is because they are temporary. They are momentary highlights of an action that just actually occurred. Um, so while I see all these other things of like latest, of tops, of sub goals, of everything else on screen, I see those as staples that sit there because they're important. Alerts are receipts of transactions, effectively. Um, they're a receipt there, me saying I appreciate your patronage to the stream, so everyone on stream can hype them for that moment of that transaction, and that's awesome. It's not to discount them in any way, shape, or form, that is just, that is the functional use of alerts, um, is really for that reason. Uh, and I don't actually say any or all of this, uh, to say that having, uh, call outs tons of them on your screen is a horrible thing to do like you do you if you have them set up that's fine don't get defensive if you do get defensive shove them in the comments below all right i'll come at you bro it's fine uh but the more strategic decision is to focus on one thing you want to improve in a certain timeline and highlight that with every shape way or form that you can and overlays are just one way to do it alerts are another way you can make certain alerts more grandiose than others and it could be your follower if you have a follower goal you could have a follower alert that lasts for like a minute and make it a hype train basically like could be intense could be really fun i don't know it could be whack but if you totally disagree with me let me know below or hit me up on discord if you really want to come at me as always, though, I do want to spotlight a small streamer who deserves some love. Today, we're talking about Flo McNasty TV. Wait for the other one to spawn. Oh shit! 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 Yeah! yeah. Taking these chances, they wouldn't give me the chances, so I gotta go out and get it. I'ma hold it off for ransom. This dude has been killing it for years. Uh, not, I mean, that makes it sound like more dramatic. He's not, he's not that long of a streamer, but you know, from the old days of Fortnite <laughs> to his newfound skyrocket success in GTA 5, uh, Flo is a solid streamer with uh, a promising future. Congrats also on making partner recently, dude. Keep rocking it. This guy's amazing. He's a fun time. He kicks ass. He also kicks drums. Uh, he plays drums while uh while streaming in between games sometimes or in gta i think he like has his character in a recording studio sometimes and like plays the drums while like his character does it it's pretty freaking cool anyways the golden rule of streaming other success does not equal your failure raise up those you like streaming is a community not a competition if you want to join in the conversation i'm kale 40 I'm at twitch.tv slash kale40. My schedule there is always up to date. Check out some of the other videos for more Twitch tryhard tips and insight. But until the next one, stay foxy, stream strong. Hey, these are the drums. This is what I was talking about. They're freaking awesome, dude. I think he like raps in some of this too. Like he has his own songs with his character in GTA. Like it's kick ass, dude.